Hey gang, Scott here. Well, a bunch of you have been asking me some on one questions and that makes sense. New version of software, things change a little bit. Where did stuff go? One that's come up again and again is what happened to my auto AI button or my AI match buttons I used to have in tone and color. So that's what this video is going to be about. I'll show you where they are. They're still there. The, the, the feature is still there, uh, but it's in Brilliance AI is where you're going to find it. So I'll show you where to, uh, to root those out. And really quick, if you are upgrading your version of on one to 2024 or adding in the other on one tools to your toolkit check the show notes i have an offer code there it will save you money gives me a little support and lets me do more videos like this so uh, where did these buttons go let me explain the problem here first so if you have been using photo raw for a while you're used to coming into tone and color and then in the tone section Right next to tone, we had a couple of buttons. We had AI auto and AI match, and you'd click those and all the sliders would get adjusted somehow. So you've upgraded to 2024. You're like, well, where are my buttons, right? We had two of them. AI auto was, you know, automatically setting lights, shadows, etc. A little more histogram based than like, you know, pure true AI seeing things in the photo. And then AI match was trying to match the look of the embedded JPEG in your raw file. If you look on the back of your camera after you take a photo, you're seeing a JPEG that's done some level of processing the camera does for you. And that's what AI match would do. You know, you're in here like, well, where'd the buttons go? Well, they have moved. Uh, they have moved into Brilliance AI. And let me just turn on Brilliance AI. And you can see I have the, the options area expanded. So, you know, if you don't have that expanded, click on it. And it's this method here. The method, the default method now is Brilliance AI. Let me hover on that again. You kind of see it says select the auto method. So if I choose this, I have Brilliance AI, which is the default now. Here's AI auto and you'll see a shift, right? If I go back to Brilliance, I hover on auto. Things are a little different it's using a little bit of a different way of determining how to adjust tone and color. And then AI match, if I hover over that one, this will take a moment while it does the analysis. This is what it kind of looked like on the back of my camera, which in this particular photo is not very pleasing. So, you know, I certainly want either AI auto or brilliance and, you know, which one you want, that's, you know, kind of up to you, but you know, this is where you're going to find AI auto. And so, choosing AI auto, or if you open up a photo that you've operated on in a previous version of photo raw and you see method AI auto, when you look in here, well, that's what was used when you process the photo in say 2023 or 2022. So that's where those things have, uh, have gone into. So if you're looking for that particular AI auto or want to try it out or use it for whatever reason, it's still there. It's still in the software and you'll find it in brilliance AI. Hope you found the video useful. Got questions? Drop them below. And until next time, my name's Scott Davenport. Have fun.